Hey, how you doing Facebook? It's Leon Street here and I've got something that I want to share with you but just give me a second guys, I need to take a seat for this um, the reason being um, I've had some discussions with clients recently and in particular I had one discussion with a business owner this afternoon actually and one of the things that I've, I've really come across is when people are looking at marketing in their business and you know they come across the, the great numbers, the huge kind of possibilities of what online has to offer and they're told about sales funnels this, Facebook marketing that, get onto Google, blah blah blah, do some SEO, do some this, do some that and you know customers are going to come running, they're going to come flying to you and you you chunk away at it for I don't know one month two months three months six months twelve months before you know it years are passing by and people have promised that this will work for you you will get customers you will make sales you're on social media and there's supposed to be hundreds thousands of people who for whatever reason or want of a better explanation want your stuff but the reality is that reality sets in and with reality setting in there are no sales there are no leads and you're kind of left wondering and scratching your head and if you've scratched your head a bit too much you've probably got no hair like me but scratching your head and thinking well when is this stuff gonna work when is marketing actually gonna work for me you know when am I gonna go to this next level that people keep promising me and this is the problem and you know I, I just wanna I want to raise it because there's a lot of people out there who uh, they're in they're in this place of come on Liam think of the word they're in this place of fog they're lost there is there's no explanation as to why they're broke and they're banging their head up against the wall and actually that was the words of a business owner that I spoke with a bit earlier and the thing is there are a lot of people that you see online who are very successful and because of the far reaches the targeting and the ability to get through to you and what you see across the internet you kind of you see all these top marketers you see these gurus these business owners celebrities and you're thinking wow surely I can tap into to more of this for my business surely I can make this work for me and before you know it you you know you you just need deep in the doo doo you need deep in actually I've invested time I've invested money and you know for whatever reason it's kind of like well when is it going to work for me thanks for jumping on Reese and so I'm I'm talking today about you know the the big lie that that the industry is actually selling the market and you know what it's my industry the marketing industry and it's a huge lie and the the, the lie is it's being it, it's being reverberated the volume is being increased by people who don't have a clue about marketing that the marketers who are actually selling this light don't actually know how to market themselves. They know how to use tactics. They don't understand strategy. They don't understand what it takes to truly get a customer when marketplace awareness is at its lowest and marketplace sophistication is at its highest. And even those two things, people just they have no idea about. They're like, do some social media, put a blog together, put a podcast out. You know, do some videos, put them onto YouTube, put them onto Facebook, you know, go onto Instagram, post some pictures, go into some Facebook groups, go into some LinkedIn groups, go onto LinkedIn and post some stuff. And you know what? And you and you are literally sat there scratching your head thinking, well, when are all these customers going to come through to me? When are all these people going to come through and I'm actually going to be able to make some money? And this is the big, big, big problem. And... If you're watching this right now, make sure that you like, share and comment below because I want more people to hear this because it, it comes from a conversation I had with a business owner this, this afternoon earlier and their exact words were, I'm banging my head up against the wall, we're not doing as well as we're meant to, we've put a sales funnel in place, a marketing funnel, you know, we've done all the things that we need to do and the reality is that they haven't even scratched the surface of what needs to be done because they're their marketplace awareness is is not high so they're not known by the market and the second thing their marketplace is pretty sophisticated because it's a place where 
people are seeking more than just, oh, I can buy that quick product or service to solve my problem. It's actually the, the customer has to do the research. And so because of that, you know, people just haven't got a clue. And for me, it's kind of like, well, where do you turn as a business owner? What are the next steps? So I've, I've put a few things down and it's very simple. And the teaching that I come across, it comes from a guy called Dan Kennedy. But I just want to break it down for everybody watching right now because it's something that I use. And we use it and teach it in our, our program, Vortex. And the reason why I'm holding my three fingers up is not because I'm in the Scouts or Cubs or anything. I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain. There's three key parts to this. There's your message, there's your market, and then there's medium. So let me break it down. Your message is what you put out to the market, your hook, your headline, the thing that attracts them in. Yeah, And a lot of people don't have a clue how to even put a good hook out into the market. You know, it could even be you put a lead magnet out there, so like a PDF, maybe even a training series, a three-part video series, four-part video series, whatever it is, some type of value, and that's the hook, that's the thing. Maybe you've put a webinar together that has, you know, 60 minutes worth of training that helps people to figure out X, Y, and Z. But you need to put something out in your market so that people know what it is that they're coming to you for. The next thing is market. As I just mentioned, when you put it out to the market, your market is your target audience. Do you truly understand who your target audience are? Do you understand from a perspective where you've done the research? And this is where most people fall short. They're like, you know, I, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this one, two, three, five, ten years. I'm well experienced. But actually, markets move, markets change. I mean, you only have to look at the mobile phone industry to know how fast technology changes. You know, it was only probably a matter of 10 years ago. You just didn't have the level of applications and apps that you get on mobile phones now. You know, so markets change. You need to make sure that not only if the markets change, maybe the route to your audience has also changed. And that's because of the technology. And the thing is, with without performing some real juicy research, you're just leaving money on the table. And this is where you bang your head up against the wall because you're like, well, I kind of understand what my customers need, but you haven't actually, you've not even begun to understand what your market needs because you've done general market research. You haven't done specific where you go into, you know, who are the competitors? What's the price points? You know, what, what kind of offers are out in the marketplace? What are the deepest, darkest desires, secrets? What are the dominant resident emotions? and desires of my target audience you've not gone into it you've not put yourself truly in your customer's shoes and then you're left and you're stood there wondering why isn't my marketing working it's because you haven't done the work and you know it's not your fault in the sense of you know not knowing what to expect it's because marketers and people out there are telling you set up a sales phone or do some facebook ads and it's gonna it's just gonna reveal itself and and here's the other thing you know, people shout these things out there, but sometimes your customers might not actually be online. You may actually have to go old school. You may have to pick up the phone. You, you, there's, there's people I come across and actually they're sat on lists, they're, they're sat on data and they're thinking, why isn't my online marketing working? And, and I'm speaking to them and I'm like, have you actually picked up the phone to speak to these people? Did you actually realize that when you phone them, there's so many other people who are marketing online. They actually never get a phone call. Maybe they never get a letter if you're doing direct response mail. Yeah. And so for me, it's truly understanding like, have you explored all the options that are out there? Have you dived in? And there's this saying, one inch wide, one mile deep. And that's how much, how far you have to go with your research and also the focus around what you're doing. So don't just end up being on social media posting general messages that will never reach your target audience in the right way to fulfill their needs and serve and and basically solve their problems. Because that's it at the end of the day. If you have a solution to a customer's problem and you understand the type of hook, the way to get in front of them to capture their attention and for them to know that actually you're the person or the company to help them solve that problem, that's where you're going to find the success. And the medium, the three M's, the message, market and medium is, is where you choose. So whether you, you are online, whether you're doing things like Facebook, whether you're doing Google AdWords or actually whether you're doing networking, whether you're picking up the phone doing telemarketing, whether you're JVing or you've got a joint venture with another company who has all of your customers but serves them with different products or services and there's no conflict of interest. 
you know, there are so many businesses out there who do put their hopes and trust into online marketing and actually they've not really explored where their customers are hanging out and what's the best way to get to their customers. And then in itself, people, they're just mixed up. They don't understand what a marketing plan is and what a marketing strategy is. And I'm just going to break it down for you because I've purposefully written it down because I just wanted to make sure that you guys get an understanding. A marketing strategy, so when people say, you know, strategize, is is the most powerful thing you need to have in your arsenal of how you're going to get, you know, products and how you're going to sell services to them or products to them to your customers sorry to get customers so the strategy is an explanation of your goals and what you need to achieve that's the top level the very basic top level so an explanation of your goals and what you need to achieve and then a marketing plan is the how is the execution of how you're going to get those customers and then within your plan are the tactics and the tactics are things like facebook ads google adwords seo pay-per-click social media this email marketing that those are tactics and if you listen to the order that I gave them to you that's the order of importance strategy plan tactics yeah it's not the other way around where let's go and set up Facebook ads and we have no idea about our customer we haven't researched our customer we haven't you know really dived into what are their desires their emotions their interests their feelings what are they thinking about what are they not thinking about you know what what is already out in the marketplace competitors there's so many things that depending on the awareness level and depending on the sophistication of your market you need to go into that marketplace different to probably what you're thinking or you've been told you know when people say to you get on Facebook ads it's easy get on Google AdWords it's easy it's easy if they've done the work and it's probably easy if they've looked at the numbers and they actually haven't done the work and they're saying yeah it's easy you go online set up your ads in 10 minutes you know a couple hundred thousand pounds down the line and you realize that actually you've spent a whole load of money you've got this much results and this is part of the reason why I wanted to get this message across and yeah it is a bit of a rant but it's more of I just want to wake you guys up to what exists out there because there is more there isn't just you know do some marketing and then all hope is lost because you haven't got the results because then once you understand marketplace awareness you understand marketplace sophistication now you can get into your offer you know what what offer have you got to put out into the market have you got a USP a unique selling proposition the chief the main benefit of what your product or service offers so not a feature but a benefit something that will add to the person's life not you know whether it comes in black white it's one foot long or measurements those are features yeah what you're after is what is the benefit so what is the customer gonna gain from having your product or service yeah that's what the customer is interested in what is their gain what's in it for me that's what you've got to get across in your offer and your message and then when you are in a sophisticated marketplace you then take your USP and add a unique mechanism yeah a process a methodology a piece part or component that is different than everybody else out there so imagine you merge the USP and that unique benefit, the unique mechanism sorry and then this is where you stand out but you don't do this by just scratching the surface of you know putting your marketing out there and not doing the research tactics you know are all about just getting in front of your customer but you need to understand why your customer needs what you have on offer so for me guys if you want to take things to the next level do not follow the lies don't buy into the lies of how easy things are what you've got to do is focus on what are the key the key things that your customer is looking for and nine times out of ten I'd even say like nine point nine times out of ten people are not doing the research they don't have a research document they don't have a journal where they're journaling or even just taking note of what's going on in in their industry in their market or even just what's going on with their customers I mean I'm working on a campaign right now where the target is to bring in 1.2 million for a client yeah and most people will be like yeah jump online go and get loads of customers you know what they've also got a database of nearly 4,000 existing customers have a guess where we're gonna target first to start building out that sales total yeah you guessed it the list that they've already got 
you go after the low hanging fruit guys don't get lost in all of the hype around what can be done online and don't get me wrong i'm not bashing online look i'm streaming right now serving you guys online what i am saying guys is do your homework don't follow the crowd and there's a big thing here and this came off a conversation i, I had earlier um with this business owner who in their own words I'm just banging my head up against the wall because things are slow. And I could tell straight away, it, it doesn't even take a genius. I just said, your message is wrong and you have no strategy. And have a guess what I found out 10 minutes later. No message, no strategy. And even worse, they didn't even know what their sales funnel was offering. And this is commonplace. yeah. And you kind of think, and I, I, I know you guys probably listening and watching right now thinking, well, that that you know that's absurd. Who would have that? But... You'd be surprised how many business owners I come across week on week in the same situation. And they're all at different levels. Some are startups, some are established, some at five figures, some at six figures, some at seven figures. Yeah. And they don't have a clue. But what worked before, what got them there is not what's going to help now, especially in this day and age of, you know, sophisticated technology, the, the, the vehicles and the routes to your customers. And so for me, guys, like I said, I wanted to raise your awareness around this and I just want to shout out Chris Trinity. Yes, you're right. Building a customer avatar. And you know what? Even getting deeper than the customer avatar, it's like it's getting to the point of truly knowing their desires and getting into the psychology. That's what it is. Customer avatar plus psychology equal wins for you because now you truly understand what your customers are about. And what else have we got here? Just going back through some comments, guys. That list is a warm audience. You, you're right, it's a warm audience. And, and f I've, I've even had it before where people have got lists. And check this. So I was in Orlando last week. I was speaking to a lady. Um, her business is spread across the world with seven partners, including herself. And things aren't going well. Same scenarios. Things are slow. They've got a list of 60,000 people. So that, that's when my, my kind of ears pricked up at that point. I was like, 60,000. I was like, okay, tell me more. What's your target? What is it you're trying to do? So then I say, how many buyers have you got in this list? So get this, guys. 25,000 buyers. And I'm like, whoa, that's, that's awesome. Like for most people, they haven't even got close to that. So then the, ne the next thing I say to them, well, What's the price point of those buyers? Because, you know, it could be um, 25,000 buyers and they're spending like, I don't know, one cent. I don't know what they're offering. So anyway, she says to me, this, they're investing from $3 to $4,000. And I'm like, ka -ching. So I said, all we need to do now is segment that list. And, and so I say to the lady, so tell me, you know, what's your goal? And she said, well, we need to do something like another $15,000 before the year's out just to make it worth our while and to continue to, you know, exist with this business and I'm like I'm, I'm trying to hold back the um, the words that I don't want to say I'm like wow like is that for, are you guys for real there's seven partners and all you're trying to do is turn over another 15,000 just to prove that the business is worth staying in and bearing in mind this is an established training company so anyway I, I say to her you know tell me why because she came to me and she said I'm interested in Facebook ads I need to do Facebook ads and this is where I say guys and this is what I was talking about earlier getting your message your market and the medium just out of sync and and you just lost in the hype of what is online and what people are shouting at and telling you all the BS lies right now and why people don't know where to turn and what to believe so I say to this woman I say look first of all you have a list of 60,000 you have a, a, a segmentation of that list of 25,000 who are buyers you don't need Facebook ads. What you need to do is find the top 100 people who've bought the most expensive things that you have and even go back to like a thousand dollars or more. And I said, and you know what we do? It's very simple. We pick up the phone and we make them an offer for fifteen hundred dollars. So one thousand five hundred and sell ten people before the end of the year. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. And you can pay me for the knowledge. It's simple, guys. And, and this is what I want to get across. So sometimes it's right in front of you but you only see that when you've explored it deep enough because if you stay at this surface level you're always going with the market you know everybody's zigging left and you're going with them when you should be zigging right yeah so you really got to think about you know where are you going with your marketing strategy because your strategy are your goals nobody else's nobody else's hype nobody else's you know bs telling you to do x y and z 
you've really got to focus on what's your strategy. And you hear it? Stay in your lane. Yes, yeah, stay in your lane, but go deep in your lane. One inch wide, one mile deep. Go and do your research and then roll out that strategy. Execute the plan flawlessly and go deep into those tactics that people tell you about. So I hope this has opened up some ideas for you guys. I'm just checking. Yeah, 60,000, Chris. I know, huge list. Um, Anyway, I sent my quote to this lady. I'm just waiting to hear back from her now. Because um, all they're lacking is just a sales script to actually close people on the phone. That's it. Very simple. But anyway, guys, if this has been useful to you, I would greatly appreciate you liking this video. Even putting a heart on it. Show some love. I don't want to like. A like's nothing. Show me some love. So anyway, share the video. Because if there's somebody else who needs to hear this then please be the person that has shared it with them. Be the person to bring this light to them. Yes, yeah, show me some love. There we go, Chris. I'm, I'm feeling that. The love just is way more better. When you guys put stuff out there, I'll show you some love as well. I'm not going to show you likes. Likes, it, it, it's, it's like a fraction above scrolling past your video. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's enough from me. If you like it, share the video. I appreciate it if you do. And remember, tomorrow I'll be doing Whiteboard Wednesday. I'm sure I'm going to pick up some more on this. I'm probably going to expand more on this because whether you know it or not, I'm in the process of writing a book as well. Um, it's 75% complete. I'm 38,000 words in and I'm finishing when I get to 50,000 words. And it's going to have this type of stuff in there, guys. The stuff that people don't tell you about. I've gone deep on my research to make sure that if you're a business owner, a coach, a consultant, that you can turn over a profit. You can hit six figures because you know what? I've got one final story before I go. I'm, I'm going to give you one more. I know I'm going on, guys, but this one's a, a real value bomb. So I have two customers. Two customers. Customer A, customer B. I introduced customer A to customer B a week ago before I flew out to Orlando when I was at MFA Live with some real top marketers because one of them was interested in buying some stuff from the other. So anyway, I'm back in England. I get a phone call yesterday from Custom B. Yeah, and he says, Leon, thank you for referring me to Customer A. And I'm like, no problem. You know, they're both my customers, so I'm happy to help both of them. So anyway, it, it, it's revealed to me that Customer B invested 100,000 with Customer A. So these are my customers exchanging and investing <laughs> with one another six figures. Yeah, in the space of like 10 to 14 days, got 10 to 14 days, guys. So if you're struggling, there's no need to struggle. There is money out there. That was a referral. I, you know, it was nothing that I had to do. I just saw an opportunity where one customer needed the help of another of mine. They're both my customers. But what I'm saying to you is, don't let the numbers be something that scares you in the sense of you don't act on it. Yeah, because there's so much money washing around all around us. That was just one referral, yeah? You're probably just one referral away. You always hear it one campaign away, one funnel away. You know what? You're just one piece of research away from making whatever you need to make in your marketing strategy, guys. So go out there, make it happen. Stop relying on, you know, the hype of the industry. Find the evidence, yeah? Find what needs to happen for you because that's all that's going to make it happen. Get the right people around you that you can trust, the right advisors, the right coach, the right mentor, whatever it is, just get them around you and then go and do it. Don't think, you know, don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Go and do you guys. So Reese, Chris, I just want to say thanks for jumping on this live, loving the interaction. Remember, show your love, not just the likes. It's the love, the love hearts are doing it for me. I'm loving all the likes, but the love hearts, they mean like a hundred times more to me. And I'm sure they mean a hundred times more in the Facebook algorithm. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow, Whiteboard Wednesday, Leon Street. I'm out. Have a great day.